Today we're at Schumacher Homes' newest Savannah Hilton Head Model Center here in Hardyville, South Carolina. And we're getting ready to walk through the coastal version of their Belleville floor plan. This version of the Belleville is a true southern delight with its sprawling layout and massive wraparound porch. Within the main home, you will find four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms inside of 3,182 square feet. This home also has a pleasant surprise as it features not one, but two master bedrooms with the bonus suite situated above the detached three car garage, which sits inside an additional 550 square feet. On the front of the home, you will notice it has tons of curb appeal with its multiple gables and gable accents, as well as a large dormer poking out over the garage. The large wraparound porch beckons for porch swing sitting, long conversations, and of course, the sweetest of sweet tea. Moving around to the back of the home, you will find several windows, mostly coming out of the massive great room and an additional covered porch. I could definitely picture a few gardens out back and a small patio off the back porch with a fireplace and a grill. To me, I think that would be absolutely perfect. As for the price of this model, it starts at approximately $558,000, though that price could vary due to your specific design choices, including exterior packages, which this home comes in a craftsman and American tradition, in addition to the coastal version we're checking out today. If you want any more information on this floor plan or Schumacher Homes, you can find that information at timothyplivingston.com. The link will be in the description. With all of that, Let's go get inside and see what all surprises await. All right. Yeah, these homes, man, <laughs> they are something special. And I, I love the ceiling in here. I've been dying to come down here uh, ever since Jen showed me the Facebook post uh, that talked about this is one of their new model centers, uh, that it was ready to go. So I was like, yes, let's go do it. So here we are. This is your front entrance. When you first walk in, you got a fun little accent wall over here. There's actually a lot of these accent walls, um, which are pretty neat. And then right off of that, you've got this great big coat closet. Fitting is super tall. And the door is hefty too. So plenty of storage room in there. And then from there, you immediately enter into the great room so plenty of windows got some stone accents going all the way up to the gorgeous ceiling i i love everything about the ceiling uh got that like rustic barn wood with some exposed beams and then some funky lights hanging down right in the middle of the great room yeah there's a uh, their actual office to the model center like their design center um, it's kind of like the whole exterior looks like that. And I was like, I would love to have a house that looks like the outside, like on the outside, like the ceiling. I think it'd look neat. But uh, you got some floating cabinets over here with a little underglow, which is nice. They have that same theme kind of in the kitchen. And then looking back up to, looks like the loft area, maybe the secondary bedrooms. Now, I haven't been all the way through this home. Uh, I've just been mostly in the kitchen. And I did pop my head up to um, kind of the loft area up above the garage. So that, that looks pretty nice. This is, uh, you know, like an in-law suite up there, a junior suite, a little multi-generational living. But out here onto the back porch, plenty of room. I love the ceilings out here too. Like, I like to, to see a little bit of wood um, incorporated throughout the home. I think it's nice. And I love that they put a little fire pit back there. Just kind of lets you envision uh, what it would look like. You know what I mean? And then, let's see. I guess we'll start over here on this side. Got the great big kitchen island right here kind of keep with the same rustic theme. A little accent up underneath of the island. Waterfall edges on either side. 
nice pendant lights. And I was uh, I was walking through here and I found the where the stoves are because if you're looking, you're like, where are they? You literally can't see them anywhere. <laughs> anyway, it's uh you'll see them in just a second. But you got your uh, range right here and your range hood. Some great big cabinets, and then you got these two little corner cabinets over here too. I thought they were pretty nifty. And here's your ovens, like right around the corner as we're kind of working around. That wasn't like the best reveal or anything, but <laughs> anyway, uh, Island's got some nice cabinets and drawers also. And then on this side, good to see a sink back up underneath of a window. I feel like lately with all the Pennsylvania homes and um, the Kansas homes, most of them, I think there's been one or two that have been up underneath of a window, but most of them all in the island. Your refrigerator. And then check out this pantry. <laughs> this thing is, that's pretty neat. Like, huge. Got a window in here too. Nice wood shelving. And then you even have, uh, looks like attic access maybe. Now, uh, I'm sure there would be a door here uh, if you haven't toured the Schumacher homes with us before. You won't find a lot of doors within their models, uh, but once you get the home built uh, on your own property, you would have doors. Unless you didn't want doors, then you wouldn't have doors. But nice big dining room set up. Another fun accent wall. And then through here, you enter into the mud room, laundry room area. So this door right here actually goes out onto the breezeway and through those doors you go into the garage and up to the loft. But we'll get up there uh, in a little bit. We'll get through the main portion of the house first. You got a nice little built-in right here. Some cubby holes. And then the laundry room. Got washer dryer hookups. Cabinets going all the way down. And then some nice windows in here too. Help brighten it up a little bit. It's a wash basin. There's plenty of space to kind of fold some clothes. And then also a powder room. So you got some nice vanity lights up here. I like the pulleys. I don't know if you can kind of see it. They got like little pulleys on them. Looks pretty nice. Single vanity, nice, I like this too. Tile going up to the ceiling and then you also have the toilet. All right, from here, I would imagine this is a first floor master. Now I haven't been back this way yet. They always have such nice uh, master bedrooms too. So you got the water heater right here underneath of the stairs. Now this would probably be, or could be a stairwell uh, down into the basement if it had one. Uh, this being a model home, it, uh, that's probably just where they put it for convenience, but I'm not sure. This is nice though. You got the exposed beams up there too. That I didn't even feel this. I don't know if this is, this looks like wall, wallpaper. Could have fooled me. And then into, you got a built-in gym. A wall of mirrors. This sits up towards the front of the home. Kind of an interesting thing. Now these type of rooms, you can always change them up and stuff. This is just one idea. 
kind of convenient back here. You got a little spot. Normally I would say that this is probably a, a wet bar, but being that it's a gym, probably put some Gatorades, some waters. Got a prep sink right here. But I mean, you could also turn this into an office if you wanted to. And then into the ensuite. Yeah, you see the extra, this is the, the, that's the design studio right there. And I think that would look cool <laughs> just to have a whole home like that. But you got a great big tub right here in the middle, double vanities. I'll show you the other one in just a second. Cool little sconces on either side of the mirror. And then nice walk-in shower, great big shower head, tile shower tray. And then there's your second vanity, the water closet with the toilet. And then all the way at the back, ooh, this one's pretty nice. Got the island in here too. So this is your closet. So you got shelves on this side, shelves on this side. Then you have more attic access. And this island, you got some cubby holes over here too. All right, now we'll go make our way uh, upstairs and then we'll go check out uh, that, that loft uh, up above the garage. Because it, it's, it's almost like a studio apartment, but it still looks pretty neat. And then coming up the stairs, get you a view back down into the great room too. Like it's just, I mean, that thing is massive. So once you get up here, uh, you do have this second kind of sitting area. I've been seeing a lot of these walls right here. It's just like a little puzzle piece. They've done them in a variety of ways, but it almost reminds me of like Pac-Man. But to the left of the stairs, we'll go into this bedroom first. It's got its own ensuite. Well, this is fun. Check out these kind of lamps right here. Do they? Oh yeah, they move. I didn't want to break anything. <laughs> I'm always afraid of breaking things. That's a good sized room. whether you have one or two beds. Plenty of closet space. And then it's very own ensuite. So that shower. Got a shower head. I kind of like this surround better with the rocks. I would almost put that in the master bathroom. Or maybe make that like uh, the shower tray. But next to that, you got the toilet. And then a single vanity. Again, same light fixtures. And then the linen closet. Oh, there's three bedrooms up here. I couldn't remember if this was a, a three uh, or a four bedroom home. Oh, this one's got some fun lights too on either side of the bed. So nice big room in here too. <laughs> now, is this a Jack and Jill? Yes. 
So looks like you do have a vanity on either side. There's one over there also. But then you got a shower and tub combo in here. Almost like a, a spa tub. Just how it kind of turns. And then the water closet and the second vanity. Ooh, this one's moody. Let me get back over here uh, by the doorway. So you got these fun little lights hanging down in the middle and then on either side. It's kind of neat how it makes it almost blend in with the trees. Like if you saw a UFO in the woods or something. But nice big room, some windows. Now this one is on the back side of the home. Let's see. And into its closet. Yeah, these doors. I wasn't expecting these doors to be so hefty. But they are. All right. Uh, now we'll go ahead and head back downstairs and we'll get out onto the porch and then we'll go up to the wall. So the door over here on the left hand side goes to the garage. It's locked, unfortunately. And then the door on the right hand side takes you in here and up to the loft. So once you get up here, you come back into uh, the plank floors. Got a little dry bar. Or whatever over here and then just like I said it's almost like a studio apartment it's kind of one big open space which is great the only thing it's missing and you probably have it put in I would say like a kitchenette or maybe just turn this area into the kitchenette if you wanted to use it for that and you've got Kind of like crawl space up here. Kind of dark. But just a fun little extra bit of storage. But let me know in the comments what you would use this space for. Would it be an in-law suite? Uh, if so, would you add a kitchenette? Um, would it be an office, game room? You got the single vanity in here, the toilet, and the step-in shower. Very nice. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. I also want to say thank you very much for taking the time to tour it with me. If you are interested in this model and, or want some more information on it, you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search for this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, get a little bit of builder information, and you can even search based off of square footage, number of bedrooms, and so much more. As always, my name's Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.